God like him, there is none that we can compare to him. Thank you, Abba Father. We worship you this morning. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for all that you have done. And thank you for all that you will do. In Jesus' name, we worship. If you truly worship God for his grace that is at work in your life, can you say a good amen? amen. Let's begin our prayers this morning by saying this. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, am here I am here to receive your grace, receive your grace for, a for a new chapter of favor, of, favor, of, laughter, of laughter, of beauty. Say it again. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. let your voice be the loudest. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. I'm here. To experience, to experience to receive, to receive your, grace your grace for a new chapter, a new chapter of, favor, of favor of laughter and beauty go ahead and pray that go ahead and pray that lord this morning i'm here to receive your grace i'm here to experience your grace go ahead and pray that this morning child of god don't be tired and don't be distracted father this week this month this year lord I ask for your grace. I ask for your grace to experience your favor. Yes, to be a season of laughter for me. A season of beauty for me and my family and in my career. Go ahead and talk to God this morning. Go ahead and talk to God this morning. The Bible said God will graciously give us all things. God will graciously give us all things. The scripture told us in Psalm 84 verse number 11. He said, God will not withhold anything good from those whose ways are blameless. So go ahead this morning and say, Lord, I open up myself to your grace. Father, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. Upon my life, upon my family. Is someone praying this morning? Those of you who are part of the service online, will you pray this morning? In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you pray that you know that God answered your prayer, can you say amen? amen. Luke 1 24. Luke 1 25, rather. Elizabeth said, The Lord has shown me favor and has taken away my disgrace. Lift up your two hands and please don't say it, shout it. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, name of Jesus. This, season, this season, whatever, whatever represents shame, shame and, reproach and reproach in my life, in my life and my family, and my family is, terminated is terminated by your grace. Shout it, say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. whatever, whatever represents represent shame, shame and reproach, and reproach in my life. And my family is terminated by your grace go ahead and pray that direct direct your prayers towards anything that is of shame anything that is of reproach the grace of god terminates it the grace of god terminates barrenness terminates poverty terminates setback terminates sickness go ahead and declare that this morning Palesha gando shika la badabashia Malebo shekata la babagadashia Father your grace happened in the life of Zachariah the life of Elizabeth and shame was terminated shame ended Father let your grace whatever is of shame whatever is of reproach Ends in my life, ends in my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, if you pray that you believe that grace has come to end the error of shame and reproach in your life, can you shout a good amen? I love what Sarah said. In Genesis 21, the Bible said the Lord was gracious to Sarah. Going forward, the Bible said, Sarah now said, because the Lord was gracious to her, he said, those who we hear will laugh with me. Lift up your two hands. Please make sure you are praying with faith. Don't just say it in words. I pray this all the time and it works for me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I, Jesus. I declare from, from today that by your grace, by your grace 
in my life and my family is only laughter. It's only celebration. It's only promotion. It's only good news. Good event. Glorious event that is permitted. Go ahead and pray that in the name of Jesus because of your grace. Only good news. Laughter. Celebration. Promotion. Beauty. Positive event. Favorable event. That is permitted in my life. Can you pray that this morning? Can you pray that this morning? La basha gato shakata la bagadashia. Malebo shikato shala bagada shanta la baba la baya. Malebo shikado rabakanda shanta la baba le da boya bo. Le kada ba shanta la baba la baya. Mara baba shanta la bagado shia kato la baba la baya doshia. No one will find a reason to mock you this season. No one will find a ground to mock you this season. The events of your life this season will be event of grace, event of laughter, event of celebration, event of beauty, beautiful happenings in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, when we say in Jesus' name, we pray and you say amen. Amen simply means so shall it be. What is the next prayer point? I want you to pray. You know, I told them in first service of the life of a man who went from grace to grass. Titus 2 verse number 11 stated, it said the grace that brought salvation has appeared to all men. And that grace has taught us to say no to every form of ungodliness. Now, the prayer point I want you to pray, before you pray it, I would like to pray this for you. You will not make a decision and take an action that will bring shame to your life. Yeah. Oh, come on. The grace of God will guide you all through the days of your life, all the days of your life, to go on the path of God's way. Yeah. The grace of God will help you to walk in the ways of God. Yeah. The Bible said, and David walked in the ways of the Lord. Child of God is in the ways of the Lord that we enjoy his wonders. Listen to this. Every luring power that lures people away from the will, the ways of God, from the agenda of God, the grace of God is released upon you to say no to it. So declare this as we pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive your grace this morning. To say no, to, say no to, anything to anything that is not of your will. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I receive grace to say no to the deception of the devil, the deception of the flesh, the deception of the eyes. I receive grace to say no to it. I receive grace to say no to it. I receive grace to turn my back on what God hates. I receive grace to resist the devil. I receive grace to resist the works of the flesh. I receive grace to pursue and seek after what God has ordained. Open your mouth and talk to God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le shagado shabagando le shikado la bayada shadaba. Le gadaba shanda la bare grando shikato la bade de gado bayaba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. That the man should be stronger. Amen. Do you know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah? It said, For the sake of Jacob, I will deliver the household of Israel. If God will deliver the house of, household of Israel because of Jacob, what of because of Jesus? In John 16, verse number 24, it says, You have not asked anything in my name. He said, Ask, and my father will give it to you, and your joy will be full. The prayer we are to pray this morning is the prayer of intersection. So open your mouth and lift up your two hands and declare, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I lift every of my family members to you. I ask your grace of salvation, divine protection, be upon them. I'm sure you didn't hear when I said it first. I said it again, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, because of your grace, I lift every member of my family to you. And I ask, 
for your grace of salvation, divine preservation, divine protection upon their lives. Open your mouth and pray for your siblings, pray for your children, pray for your wife, pray for your husband, pray for your children, pray for your grandchildren, pray for your in-laws that the grace of salvation will come upon them. The grace of divine protection will come upon them. Are you praying this morning? Pray for your husband who is not saved. Pray for your wife who is not saved. Pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon him. The hand of the Lord will rest upon her. That the grace of the Lord will bring them to the place. The place to experience salvation. Yes, the place to experience salvation. Open your mouth and pray this morning. The Bible says prayers and intersections should be made for all men. Pray for your children in school. Pray that they will know the Lord. They will walk in the will and the ways of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. In Jesus' exalted name, we pray. Romans 8.32 said he that did not spare his own son but gave it up for us all how will he not along with him give us all things because of the grace of god god will hear you god will grant your request what is the prayer point i'd like you to pray personally asking god for what you believe him to do for you this week this new week open your mouth and ask the lord for it Go ahead and ask the Lord for it. What you believe Him for? What you believe Him to graciously do in your life? Go ahead and ask the Lord for it. Your request, I believe, is different from mine. Those of you who are online, go ahead and ask the Lord for what you believe you will graciously do in your life the bible said god who is able to do immeasurably far beyond what we ask or imagine god will do far beyond far beyond far beyond far beyond don't be afraid ask the lord ask the lord he will do more than what you ask or imagine what do you believe him for to do in your family in your life in your career in your academics ask the lord for it ask the lord for it go ahead and ask the lord for it go ahead and ask the lord for it the lord will grant your request the Bible said the Lord will not hold back anything from those whose ways are blameless. The Lord will graciously do his will, his wonders in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this morning. In Jesus' name, we pray. When you say amen, it means so shall it be. Amen. amen. Please lift up your two hands. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You say when we ask, we will receive. When we seek, we will find. When we knock, the door will be open. For everything that we have prayed for this morning, in the name of Jesus, thank you for granting our request. Thank you for answering your people. I pray this for you, joining my faith with you. The Bible said, Anna came back to the temple and showed the evidence of her prayer to the man of God. He said, I asked the Lord for this, and the Lord has granted my request. The next time you come to this church, you will come with the evidence of the answers to your prayers. The next time we hear your voice, it will be your voice of testimony. Oh, I pray that it will be your voice of testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. May his hand of grace be with you. Be with your family. In your going out and in your coming in. And in the work of your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Go ahead and worship the Lord as the choir leaders in worship this morning. Go ahead and worship the Lord.